Okay, for the square tower, I've already created uh, the exact proportion size using the concentric wall as the background and just a basic square here. And I've actually captured one of the Merlins and copied and pasted it into this object so that we have something to go by. And we're going to start out by modeling the corner pieces. Before we do that, we're going to go ahead and center this because we will be arraying and mirroring down the center lines. Okay. And we're just going to use this as a template and create a box and give ourselves that nice little curve right there. angle and then we can delete that and we want this to match up as good as we can in the corner that looks pretty good and before we go ahead and bevel this like we do normally um, to add the accent we have to make the corner piece out of it but using two pieces and as you can see we have this little piece sticking out here so what we're going to do is we're going to use the knife tool I'm just going to do this make this a little bigger so it's easier to see and just want to make sure these match up and they they do. Okay. And we're going to use the knife tool and just create a diagonal slice through the point right here and the point right here. And we cut right across here and now these top ones are severed. But we're going to need to do one more knife. And we're going to try to do it directly on that line. We've created some extra points. We can delete those. And now we can also delete these. And now we have a nice corner piece. And we're going to merge those. And now we can use bevel. We're going to zoom in a little and just do a slight bevel. Actually, we're going to do some, maybe just a little bit more. And that looks pretty good. And then we're going to go ahead with this and mirror and mirror again. And all the corner pieces are on now. And we're going to make the tower a little bit skinnier. So what we're going to do is just pull these in about right there. This is going to be more of a watchtower. F2 to center. And there we go. Make it a little taller. And now there's about equal distance here between these two. About the size of another Merlin, but for a small square tower and more of a lookout tower, that's all we really need. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create the arrow loops. Just simple arrow loops. And 
and try to center it. And then we'll mirror that over. And then we're going to select these polygons and we're going to copy and paste and then rotate them right in the center. And we're going to use that as boolean, subtract. And now we have our archer loops. Actually, made them just a bit wide. So what I'm going to do is just pull them in just a little. There we go. Let's constrain that. There we go, that's better. Let me delete the cutting tool. And now we want to select all of the arrow loops, just the insides, and we're going to bevel those. Just a tiny bit. And now we have that nice little edge here. And we'll merge all those points together from the boolean. And now we're going to do the same sort of thing with the tower as we did with the other ones, where we give that nice little angle and cut it about two Merlins down, or, and then one Merlin down. Maybe we won't do it so quite so dramatic. And we also don't need to worry about the bottom parts here. The angle on the bottom. We'll just have it going straight down. And the next thing we're going to do is the inset. Just going to use the bevel tool. And we're not going to add any depth to it just yet. And then once more, just create that little lip. And then bring it down. And then one more time. And now we also want to create air loops on the actual tower itself. And actually what I want to do is go back to our round tower. And as you can see the air loops on here. And we're going to go ahead and use those as a template so that we're using the same size arrow loops. Okay, and we can delete that template. And we're just going to do two sets again. And copy and paste, and we're going to rotate that zero. 
and then we'll need to separate so we get a good clean boolean cut boolean and then boolean again And actually there is one thing I should have did before that. And that is grab these polygons here, the main model, and we're going to bevel those. So we get that nice edge. And maybe that's a bit much. And now we'll go ahead and re -boolean. Delete our cutting planes. And we're going to select what we just made. And go ahead and bevel these so we can get that highlight again. And we're going to delete the polygons we're creating in the center. And then we also need to create our forced black box. And we can call these Merlins, and then we're gonna just call this. We're gonna use Tower Lookout, and then the Allure. rename these. Okay, and now we also want to add our accents on the Merlins. So just put the Merlins in the background. And they can just be small accents. Nice and tiny, but just enough Merlin Nerny. And then we're going to mirror, mirror again, and copy paste, and rotate. adds just a little more to it. And we're going to create another box as kind of a accent on the top. Pull it down just a little. And make it a little wider or a little taller. And we'll copy and put that in another layer. And we're going to cut that out so that we don't go into the allure. Subtract, do the cutting tool, merge the points, and that looks pretty good. One last thing on it, I'm going to add that little bevel on the edge.
Okay, and we still have to add the corbels. Which, this type of castle, we are going to be adding corbels to the whole thing. And it would look a little weird if we didn't put it on everything. So we're going to grab the part of the concentric walls corbels. Keep everything in proportion. It's always a good thing to keep the other objects opened in Modeler so that you can keep proportions without having to keep actual layers open. And these ones won't be very large, but the right size. There we go. And for these we're going to add two. So we're just going to put it right, right there. And then we're going to use Array, Control y and do a radial array of four. And that looks pretty nice. And then we're going to rename these Lookout Corbels. And one final accent, which we're going to use on that box we created earlier. And it's just going to be something small. Delete the back polygon. We're just going to bevel it. Maybe not so much. First, I think we'll bevel this inward. And we can delete that back polygon. And this we're going to stretch inward. Center it. We'll just F2 to center it to make sure it's exact and just pull it up. Alright, and now we're going to give that that beveled edge. And beveling the edges is not a good idea if you're uh, doing game design. It will create a lot of extra geometry that you will not need. But if you're doing television or film, then you definitely would want to create these beveled edges. And I do it for every primitive object I make. So, there we go. We'll give that a surface name, Tower Lookout, and we'll just call it we'll just Nerny02. And Nernies are things, uh, if you've never heard the phrase before, uh, that we use in 3D to describe something that is um, just pretty much there for looks. Um, like if you were modeling a spaceship and you had pipes, or certain things like that that are just pretty much there for decoration and they serve no purpose. Those are considered nernies. And that's pretty much what those are right here, are nernies. But they look nice, so we're going to use them. And there we go, we have our modeling done for our square lookout tower.